I am so sick of this. I want to know why we can't be like other kids and go out on Halloween. I mean, my poor little sister should be out trick-or-treating. But look at her. You've kept her from a normal childhood, and it's turned her into a, a wall ornament. Well, I think it's obvious why Halloween is bad. I mean, that whole razor blade and the apple thing was an urban myth, of course. But then all that candy causes cavities and gum disease and those masks everybody wears of these weird kind of toxic fumes inside that make your arms go limp and... and... And it's totally too late for him. Marnie, I'm sorry. I know that you want to go out with your friends, but there are just some things about Halloween that you don't understand. Oh, right. Like there's some big, mysterious reason why we can't go out. Face it, Mom. You don't trust your own kids. That is not true. Oh, yes, it is. You keep us all in this big bubble. I mean, how are we supposed to grow up if we can't explore the world, try new stuff, and take some risks? Marnie, I am just trying to protect you. Yeah, you're protecting us from being anything but a bunch of vegetables. Hey, look, I'm a potato. Are you happy now? Maybe I'll put down some roots in the carpet. Oh, no, Marnie. It's too dangerous. There are things about vegetables that you don't understand. Somebody's coming. Come, my little wall ornament. Uh, let's on. get you washed up Somebody's for dinner. Somebody's coming. Come on, sweetie. Why are you so obsessed with Halloween? I mean, it's just like Mom says. It gives little kids dumb ideas about there being magic. Like, that helps them prepare for life. Personally, give me a good nature documentary any day. <laughs> Halloween is cool, nature boy. I mean, it's exciting, strange, and ancient. Plus, Mom and Dad met on Halloween. Shh, what are you trying to do? You know how talking about Dad always bums Mom out? Why can't you pick some other holiday to get hung up on, like Arbor Day? Trees are important, too, you know.